G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. Just leaving the Al Uar Mia group campsite on the Bilbomen track, which is the group site uh, by the Monodox shelter. So I just messing around with my walking pole. Wet night last night, it's not long stopped, but it looks beautiful out here, nice and fresh. Let's show you where I was. And that's the undercover area. Now this group shelter doesn't have a, or group campsite, it doesn't have a shelter. I'm walking the wrong way. It just has this undercover area. So you're going to have to be in tents if you're going to use this one. Down the steps we go. Now it's about a 12.6 kilometer walk from the Monodox shelter if you stop there and I think it's about 11.6 from here. I'm going to buy the uh, Gut Hooks app. We've got Mount Cuspert and Mount Vincent to walk over and then down into the Mount Cook shelter and camp and have a look it's the view at the moment isn't that beautiful I normally leave about between 4 or 4.30 in the morning but with the rain it was really coming down heavy so I waited a bit later and I think it's about 7 o'clock now so it's a late one for me but I don't mind yep, 6.59 so yeah, a little bit late for me but I'm getting picked up uh, on Albany Highway so I'm going to walk out from Mount Cook morning or this afternoon when I get there and be picked up with all, all the wet I'll dry off ah. <laughs> it's just great that view isn't it the sun's gonna be popping up there soon <clears throat> okay I'll get on a little bit or oh, before I do go the actual walk out of this shelter is about 450 meters and then if you're heading south when you get to the end of this one you take a left and if you're heading north you take a right so don't make the mistake and go the wrong way and add kilometers to your walk
half an hour in and we just sighted the incline of Mount Cuthbert. Nothing serious, but yeah, beautiful views out here. A few puddles in the rain last night, a couple of inches deep along the track. But yeah, nothing serious. Good pair of boots and you'll be fine as long as they're waterproof. It's just beautiful. Okay, I'll see you a bit further up. Still climbing up Mount Cuss, but when you're climbing up here at the moment, which is the end of May 2024, a lot of the actual track climbing up is washed out, so it's not very level. So there's a few stones and small boulders, so just be careful. But the views are just fantastic. One hour, 15 minutes in, and we're at the top of Mount Cuss, but show you the views Isn't that fantastic? Alright, up to Mount Vincent, or onto Mount Vincent, down a bit, then up a bit. See you there. Nearly at the top of Mount Vincent. Not so bad climbing up this one. And looking at the the map, with the gradients going down, it should be quite a shallow decline. Fingers crossed. I know when I get to the top, my jacket's coming off. I'm starting to get warm now. Time is is my watch. Oh, all tangled up. Nine o'clock, so I've been going two hours. And we're just getting to Mount Vincent. Looking back at Mount Cosbert. Doesn't look that big from here. Nearly at the top of Mount Vincent and I found a fantastic little spot to sit down. It's about 10-15 metres away from the top but it's well worth it. Let's show you. There's the boulder and beside that just off the track is a nice little rock, perfect size to sit on. Different sizes, lower, a little bit more, higher, 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 higher. 
and this is the view we get from the, sitting down here so it's well worth the five minutes of just taking your time and relaxing As you reach this little post of your walk on, you'll see another track there and then the Bill Woman track sign over there. Going back to this track here, what this one is, is for the Sullivan's Rock car park. So if you're arranging to have anything picked up or dropped off, that's the track you take. Walk down there and then come back and then we carry on down this way. Not a bit of rain. Let's sort of poncho on. Okay, little bits. I kit these are uh, cover you, your pack, and using emergencies as a shelter. And also extra insulation when it's a bit cold. <coughs> Once I got down to the bottom of Mount Vincent, uh, then I showed you the uh, junction for Sullivan's Rock. After that point, we've just been on four wheel drive tracks, the maintenance tracks and I think we've got another one or two kilometres of this before we go off and walk in the bush beside, I think actually followed beside this which is Cook Road I think it is and we'll follow beside this all the way down into uh, Mount Cook Shelter uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to have a little bit of flat <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit of incline and decline, but very, very gentle. And just taking it easy, pace has increased. Okay, now the rain's coming down even harder, and my camera's not waterproof, so I'll see you in a little while. That's a bugger. When the rain came down, it damaged the camera. Uh, I think water got in it, so it won't turn the screen on now. So, I have to finish the rest of this video on the mobile phone. So it won't be as steady, but I'll do my best. Not far from the shelter now, so I'm going to call it a day on this. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and hit the thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much <laughs>